I over-engineered this no battery flashlight. I added a bunch of extra components after so many of you wanted to see the LEDs stay on longer. In case you missed it, this is the flashlight I upgraded in a previous video. I replaced the original light bulb with LEDs, which made a lot more light. But since the flashlight uses a mechanism instead of batteries, the light goes out as soon as you stop pumping. Many of you suggested adding a battery or a capacitor. Unfortunately, using a battery would not be practical, charging it would take forever. So instead, I got a couple of super capacitors to experiment with. However, this brings along a few challenges. First of all, we need to convert the alternating current from the mechanism to direct current. That is done with a full wave bridge rectifier. Secondly, supercapacitors have a very low voltage rating, so we need something to manage the voltage coming in and out of the capacitor. So I included a buck converter to limit the voltage going into the capacitor, and then a boost converter after that to increase the voltage to a usable level. Finally, there is a dedicated driver chip for the LED. All of these components are on these two circuit boards, which I made with the help of my sponsor, JLCPCB. I rely on JLCPCB to make high quality circuit boards for my DIY projects. Prices start at just $2, and if I need reliable PCB assembly services, JLCPCB is ready to help. I just upload my production files, and the PCB is manufactured within 24 hours. Sign up now to get free coupons, and for a limited time, grab a $30 discount for 6 layer PCBs. Now let's see how well my circuit works. The output from the full wave bridge rectifier goes into the buck converter, which steps it down to 2.6 volts. That is just below the voltage rating of my supercapacitor. Here we see the circuit charging the cap. However, it takes a while before we get any light. Time to add the boost converter and a second capacitor in parallel for extra energy storage. By increasing the voltage, we get light only after a few seconds. And if I keep on pumping, the extra energy gets stored in the supercaps for later. It takes about 30 seconds to charge the two supercapacitors and they provide an additional 40 seconds of light. I also tried using this much bigger supercapacitor, but I wasn't happy with the results. Since this cap is bigger, it takes much longer to get it up to a usable voltage. So I soldered the two small supercapacitors, sandwiched the two circuit boards together and put the glass cover back on. Now I have a supercapacitor flashlight that uses no batteries, but honestly, I think I prefer the simpler approach with two diodes from my last video, even though it doesn't last as long. Check out my YouTube channel for the full video and subscribe for more.